G'day, I'm Wayne from the uh, Auckland Rat Plant um, for Fulton Hogan. Our job here primarily we take all the uh, leftover asphalt, dig outs, all of that sort of stuff, millings. We recycle it and crush it down first, then screen it out, and it all goes back into making our wrap product, um, recycled asphalt, which goes back into the asphalt. It just has a 100% replacement. Asphalt's a cool product because it just goes round and round um, endlessly. So it's a really cool product to recycle. Part of our recycling process, in the recycling game, sustainability and all that stuff, we want to do a good job of it. So part of that was getting hold of a good crusher or the right crusher for our job. So we went through a bit of a process, used some different gear, hired some different gear, and we settled on our keys track uh, over here, our R3E. It's quite a cool machine. It's an electric machine. So when you're not plugged into the mains, it's diesel electric, and then we run it mostly plugged into mains, so it's running all electric. For us, it's got a couple of advantages. Um, running on electric, it's super quiet, so you can have a conversation in the yard <laughs> while the machine's working. It's really quiet, eh? It's really cool. Um, some cool benefits of that, not only just for well-being, just in terms of the yard, you can you can have conversations around the place, and it's quite interesting. You can hear stuff going through the crusher, so we can tell in the office. We can now tell when there's something wrong, but it's still gone through because you can hear it. It's not all drowned out by the noise of the engine. It's actually quite cool aspect of it. The whole part of it being electric fits with what we're trying to do, we're recycling. So that's a massive part of it. And for us, everything being electric, it doesn't generate the same sort of heat as it does with your diesel hydraulic type thing. So that's a real bonus for us dealing with asphalt. When we looked at buying it, we looked at some different options and um, Bert from Equip2 was really good and he was able to um, actually give us some real world examples of other people crushing wrap, uh, asphalt, making wrap, and, and give us some tonnage ideas and all that sort of stuff which was really helpful, you know, because you're doing something a bit different. You want to know that it's going to turn out right. You want to have faith in what you're doing. And so Bert was able to offer a bit of uh, experience in that area and, and had some real world stuff that we could look at to see what we're going to do. Super impressed. Um, we got the machine in, cranked it all up, and just straight away it just exceeded our expectations. That's flipping awesome. Um, we have issues like everybody in the, in the winter when it gets a bit wet. Our stuff gets a bit sticky, causes us a few problems not too much of a problem with the crusher, it's more the screening side of it, but even in those conditions we're exceeding our expectation. Summertime the stuff just pours through the plant. The electric aspect of it is really interesting. One of the things that happens with your crusher is you, you overload it or surge feed it or some big rocks or something go in. First thing it does is tells the feeder to slow down so it can, can get ahead. What we're noticing with the electric crusher, it's got all that torque from the electric motor, it doesn't do that, it just crushes it and then the, the poor old conveyor belt and screen have got to deal with the, the aftermath. Um, so it's really efficient, eh? It's, it's quite good. Really good from that respect as well. All that does is push your production up because it's not slowing itself down all the time. So it's had some, some cool consequences, if that makes any sense. But I'm definitely sold on the electric. It fits with what we're doing at Fulton Hogan, trying to reduce our carbon footprint, sustainability, and all that stuff. It fits with our whole recycling motto, and it's a really nice machine to work on. No hydraulics. Obviously you've got setup functions and stuff, but when it's running, it's all electric. It's a, it's a pleasure to, to deal with, pleasure to work on, nice and simple. It's just made it probably a little bit easier, I think, um, with less stuff to sort of worry about. The machine itself is ideally suited for our size, so Bert did a great job of recommending sort of what we needed, and, and it's, just, it's just perfect. It's the right size for us, not too big. We haven't got wasted investment, if you know what I mean, and it certainly exceeded what we thought we were going to get out of it. We're getting, on a, on a good day, we're getting um, over 130 ton an hour finished product. So the input's even obviously higher than that because we're trying to only crush down to a wrap 10, 10 mil product. Winter obviously is a bit different, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a awesome machine. Haven't had any dramas, issues, and it's been through the works. We've had big bits of steel go through it. We've, we've had all the things that could go wrong, go wrong. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's easy, easy to work on. It's quite a good machine. So things that have gone wrong for us, we've had quite a bit of steel go through. So the way we get a lot of our asphalt, so the main asphalt here comes in just from leftover from trucks, driveway digouts, that's pretty free of contaminants. But when the miller goes out and mills the roads up, we pick up all sorts of things, bolts, bits of blinking manhole come through. We get a bit of chain and wear steel from the asphalt plant come through from time to time and they're waste. So we've, we've broken the hammer and um, broken some apron bars, piece of cake to change. On that note, one of the cool things we like about it, the, the service from Equip2, they're just in Mastard and we're in Auckland. So if we if we ring up with something urgent in the morning, they can get it on the courier. It arrives here the next day in the afternoon. Not saying that happens everywhere, but that's that's pretty cool service. So that's helpful for me 
because I don't carry heaps of stock. I've got enough stuff to get me through, a set of hammers, an apron bar, a few wear plates. I don't need to stock everything under the sun because it's just down the road more or less, you know? And I, I can get it quite easily. I mean, Marston's not down the road, it's bottom end of the country, but the, the service and the backup support has been really, really good. The guys know what they're talking about, it's actually fantastic. So when we first looked at this, the, basically the reason for change for us is our old crusher was quite an old girl doing the bizzo, but as we got busier and busier, it couldn't keep up with production. So we were finding often we were deferring maintenance because we were struggling with production. So that's not a good place to be. So as we started the, the look around process, we hired a bit of gear um, to see what was, was happening. So we hired all, all sorts of different gear. We hired screens as well to see what we could do. Um, so we did trial a bit of other stuff to see what was happening. We were really interested in the electric part of it. So in the first place, that lent us a bit more towards just a field out basically. So we had a couple of options to look at. And I think the thing that got it over the line is, is like I said a bit earlier, Bert was able to come along with some real world numbers to say this is what people are getting with this machine somewhere else. And that sort of really helped sell it to us. And just, yeah, the bits of work that we've done and what they were to show us what the machine could do was exactly what we were looking for. Um, whereas we hadn't quite been able to find that with anything else. It's, it's nice to know that once you get the gear, it exceeds expectations, you know? It wasn't oversold, if anything, it was undersold. <laughs> so good bit of kit, really like it.